Today is 5-14-2015 at 8.31 a.m. on Thursday. I'm going to do my push-ups for the first time. I'm going to put my glasses over here. See, i got a rhythm now. I do my push-ups for whatever time, and then put my glasses on there, and then, then do a little... doing these push-ups. If you know the reason for, 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 for sure why my aunt died in a, a plastic half-gallon container, it's airtight and, uh, and it's got a little bit of water on the side because I washed out put ants in there and a little bit of food in there and um, they died during the night first red ants about I don't know, 20 25 of them and then I washed it out and dumped them down in the toilet then I tried some black ants same thing food in there a little bit wider with the sides airtight container um, and they died. There's like three or four ant, black ants. There's one. I'm going, why would, they, why would they die in a half gallon container with the air? I mean, it has air in it. So I didn't think it would be suffocation, but I have an ant in an olive jar, which is not plastic but glass. It's a lot smaller, and, but it's not airtight. So I guess that's the problem. Can't keep them in an airtight container. No matter how big the container is, I don't know. Seems like they had enough air in there. Now they're only this big and real small. So that's what I'm saying. And they must have died because of not enough air. Or they didn't have a dry place to sleep or something. I don't know. Three things could happen. Because the container was plastic, or yeah, because the container was plastic, or because the container was wet almost everywhere, or they, they had lack of air. So it can only really be three things that I know of. That I know of. The can container was plastic. The walls and bottom was a little bit wet. And. Fourth thing, the fourth thing is the lack of air because it's an airtight container. Now, now, now I got a hand in a, in a, in a gla all glass jar, and the top isn't airtight, and it's it's dry everywhere except for a little um, two liter two liter bottle cap about that big full of water. I not full, but it has a lot of water in it for him. And a couple pieces of food. So, and he, he, he stayed alive all night. But he didn't have any of that uh, during the night. I didn't, I didn't give him anything. Um, so he stayed, but, but then I fed him this morning and gave him some water. So he should be alright now. <laughs> I'm Dan, you know what I say? Same time, same channel. See you then. Today is 5-14-2015, it's Thursday at 12.51 p.m.
p.m. this afternoon. And I'm gonna do my push-ups for the second time. I was watching a big video on some foods that are, they say are poisonous, and most of my eat, <laughs> most of, most of the foods that say, they say are poisonous, I, I eat, like tomatoes. Pota potatoes, uh, almonds, uh, I drink almond milk, but, uh, cherries, Let's see what's the top, it's like the top ten poisonous, I don't eat mushrooms though, mushrooms are poison, but, uh, I don't eat mushrooms, but, um, Cherries, potatoes, um, uh, the almonds. They, they say a couple of them have cyanide in them. Cyanide, they'll kill you. But, uh, they're low amounts, but if you like the seeds, I think it's the seeds of an apple or a cherry. I think cherry. If you eat a bunch of seeds of the cherry, it'll kill you. Because it's got cyanide in each one. But, uh, I have to look at that video again to see all the foods. But it's potato and potato, I eat potato chips. Most of my stuff I eat is potatoes. Potato chips, potatoes, you know. That's like my favorite vegetable is potato. But, uh, Cherry's okay. Uh, the seeds in it, if you chew them and, and swallow a bunch of them, you die from cyanide poisoning. <laughs> Believe it or not. But, uh, there's, there's 10 of them. I'm not going to go through that because I forget it. I forget what they are now. I'm going to go watch that video again. But, I'm surprised to see the cherries, the uh, um, oh yeah, tomatoes, tomatoes, and, and especially the plant, mainly mainly the plant. Uh, if you eat the plant part, it'll kill you. And uh, uh, the tomato itself isn't that poisonous because everybody eats tomatoes, but uh, but it still is poisonous. So that's five, that's cherries, tomato, um, pot potato, and mushrooms, and the almond seeds, or they're, they're not, they're seeds, I think, I think almond is a seed, not a nut. Oh yeah, they said cashew, cashews, because they're not a nut either. Uh, cashew. That's six of them. Can't remember the other four. But uh, there's four more that they are poisonous to, to eat. Oh yeah, there's, there's, there's like a couple of them that are exotic. They're, they're more um, not in the USA or America. They're not in America. They're outside the United, United States. 
There's a couple of them that way, but most of them are everyday food that everybody needs. Like the tomato and the potato and and the cherry and the almonds, the cashews. Many people drink almond milk, but uh, the milk itself from a cow isn't good for you either because because it's got a lot of uh, mucus in it. It's got a certain pump, a lot of mucus. The milk itself is all right, but but uh, so the FDA says it's okay to have a certain percentage of mucus. That mucus, man, it'll make you sick and give you diarrhea and give you everything else, you know, and it'll make you sick. I'm Dan, and what I say, next time, I mean, not next time, same time, same channel. Today is 5-14-2015 at 6.38 p.m. on a Thursday. My push up for the third time. Put my glasses here. Forty big ones. And you know what I say? Same time, same channel. See you there. <laughs>